All right, so let's move on to our next speaker, and that is um, Mavis Rivera, and uh, she'll tell us about uh, her uh, first and second star party up north. Go ahead, Mavis. Thank you, everyone. Um, it is very nice to be here um, presenting for the first time um, at RASTIO um, uh, Astronomy Night. Um, so I'm from Toronto, and um, I actually live in a very densely populated place, um, very little view of the night sky. So um, it's been a very exciting uh, time for me to attend my first star party up north. Um, so next slide, please. Um, so sometimes I like to call this title, uh, what the pandemic lockdown did to me, because I probably would not, I mean, I don't even know if I would have gone to a star party but um, I mean, the most I've gone to is um, attend the monthly meetings at Bayview. Um, so that was a very nice and I hope that gets restarted again. Um, so next slide, please. So as you can see here, this one, um, this star party was um, held in South River and it was uh, just in, back in August um, 5th to 9th. And it was hosted by Robert and uh, Bob and Lillian Chapman, who um, who hosted in actually in their in the place. You know, they have a beautiful house, as you can see, and a large acreage um, where everybody came in uh, trailers or tents. Like I, I went, I camped there. Well, a couple of us camped, and um, about twenty people attended uh, this star party. And um, yeah, we, we were just uh, out in his field, um, um, out in his field, you know, and it was just a beautiful um, dark night sky um, out there in South River. Next slide, please. Um, so a little bit about Bob. Um, he, you know, Bob Chapman is a longtime member of um, RASC, um, also the North Bay Astronomy Club and the Astronomical League. And when he was living in Toronto, he was a member of the Toronto Center. And uh, I think he began the monthly study observing uh, sessions. Um, and he also, he and his wife also organized the annual Algonquin Adventure, which I will be speaking about a little bit later in this talk. Um, and this is the Toronto Center's annual star party. And since he's retired and moved out to South River, he's been active in, in the North Bay uh, Astronomy Club. Uh, next slide, please. Um, okay, so um, uh, we were there three nights. So the first night uh, was beautiful. It was a very clear night. And really, it was the first time, I would say, that I actually saw the entire Milky Way um, clear and bright, fanning across the night sky. It was awesome. And um, I was still, even though I was a member of Rescue for a couple of years, I normally, you know, I haven't really gone to a, a star party and out in the night sky for hours with fellow um, people who are interested in astronomy. So it was really um, interesting uh, session. Uh, Bob has made his 16-inch um, telescope, uh, and he also made built his own ob observatory. And so I had a good chance to view the night sky through his telescope. Um, he also showed me um, how he was hunting for a Herschel object. I believe it was a galaxy in a Draco constellation, and he was just using a printed star map. So that was a very interesting to see how was looking at the star maps and then trying to find it out in the night sky. Um, so for the first time, I saw the ring nebula, the dumbbell nebula, the binary star called Caroli, and of course, amazing uh, stunning views of Saturn and Jupiter. Uh, next slide, please. So this is a picture of Bob uh, taken in his observatory with his telescope. Um, yeah, so it was quite interesting. I mean, he gave me um, some um, uh, description of how he actually built, uh, chose the wood of the telescope, 
and also how he actually even built the observatory. So for those of you, if you're interested to build your own observatory, it's good to connect with him as I'm sure he'll be able to share a lot of information with you. Next slide, please. Day two was a bit different. It was quite overcast. Um, so that we couldn't really see much uh, in the night sky, but we did spend, since we were like all camping, we were all there. We did spend time sitting around the bonfire. And I really learned a lot about the rich history of um, both the North Bay Astronomy Club and the Sudbury Club. And, um, you know, Sudbury is a really also the start of a mining uh, town. So, um, you know, I had in the daytime, you know, gone to a museum and I actually got this uh, huge um, metal, I believe it's selenium, and it looks like Uranus, so I, I christened it that. And, you know, sitting around the bonfire and speaking about astronomy is really very a bonding experience. And of course, you know, um, some, there was some band member there who entertained us during the night, during the night. so all in all, it was even though we didn't see, uh, observe the sky, it was still very good to be able to bond with um, his fellow uh, individuals who are interested in the same um, hobby. Next slide, please. So day three was another beautiful uh, night. So Steve Dotson was there and he actually gave me a tour of the night sky. Um, so that was really uh, memorable. Uh, Steve is also a maker of telescope. Um, so um, if you, you know, if you're interested, you should connect with him. And I, a bit of trivia about Steve, they have, he's got an asteroid 13833 named after him. Uh, later on in the day, uh, Alan Ward, the president of the Sudbury Club, uh, gave us a presentation on optical coding for astronomical instruments. And I believe he also gave similar presentation at RESTIO back in May um, during his Wednesday night talk. Um, so that was um, that was also very interesting to sit around and, you know, ask him questions and, and see, um, um, you know, their interest in lens and lens making and telescope making. Um, there are lots of um, expertise in that area. Um, next slide, please. It was, it was fun because I had really good company when I was there with uh, Linda Pullier. And, uh, you know, she's the former Girl Guide uh, instructor. So uh, I actually am not so familiar with even camping. So she gave a lot of help and advice in setting up my tents and everything to do with camping. So I was really indebted to her. Linda was also part of a team that organized a live stream of the June 10 annual eclipse for timeanddate.com. And that the video was also live streamed by NASA. So you can go Google it if you go at time and date and go for June 10 annual. It is quite a stunning um, video. Um, next slide, please. So here you can see a picture of the whole team from left. Uh, clockwise, you have Linda, you have Bob Chapman, his wife, Lillian. We have Steve, um, we have Alan Ward and Steve son. So um, this was the last day before I started my drive back to Toronto. Uh, next slide, please. Uh, this is a group picture of every one of us. Uh, so quite a number of us turn up. Um, many of them turn out in trailers because they do have trailers, but I think a few of us, you know, came in our tent. Uh, next slide. So for those of you who are wondering where South River, but like myself, it is a north of Sunridge. Um, so it's about um, four or five hour drive, depending on how fast you drive. Uh, but it is definitely, you know, out there, it's just pure, you know, dark sky. So I, um, I really enjoyed this. And I told you my title of the topic was what the pandemic lockdown did to me. So I was thrilled to find out later that um, the Algonquin uh, Star Party will be coming up. So, um, so of course, uh, next slide, please. And then uh, I decided to go for my second one, all in one year, from zero to two, all in one year. Uh, next slide. So this one was held at New Lake and Algonquin just last month. 
September 9 to 12. It was organized by Charles Jung, who restarted this. And there were seven of us that actually went there, uh, went to attend this, uh, this one. Um, next slide. So here, I just wanted to show some of the stunning pictures that was taken by those that attended. This is a picture of the Milky Way uh, by Razor. And all this was, was all posted by him um, on the on a forum uh, email distribution list. So this is a beautiful picture. Uh, next slide. This one by Charles Young was on the Dumbbell Nebula um, that was taken at um, Bonquin. Uh, this is another quite a stunning image that he took. Uh, next one. This one was especially beautiful, um, taken by Reza and shows the crescent moon and Venus reflected against um, the lake. And you can see in front, there is the beautiful canoe. Uh, it was just there, you know, when we were there. So it just framed the image beautifully. Of course, I brought my camera to in next slide, and I this is my first astro picture, and I use my Fuji film Fuji film X one hundred. Um, uh, I have to start somewhere, so uh, Charles helped me set up help me set up this uh, my camera on a tripod, and you know we did some my my first picture. Next slide. Here's yeah, so some more pictures that I took. Um, Lots to improve, obviously. Um, next one. Of course, we were in Gongquin, so there's a lot of things to do in the daytime. So um, um, Richard was there, and his wife Suzanne is a very good bird watch bird watcher. So she brought us out on a trip, a uh, hunting trip, and this is, I believe, what is cruise cruise, um, and was taken by Reza. Apparently, quite uncommon to see this, and we were lucky to see this. Next slide. This one of uh, actual beaver dam, first time I'm seeing it, uh, was very, um, quite memorable. Another quite uh, interesting uh, uh, scene to actually see a real beaver dam. Uh, next slide, please. This picture by Charles, you know, just a um, very well composed picture of New Lake. And um, next one. And here is um, really all of us, you know, the first picture you see um, Richard, Razor, Charles and his wife Suzanne. I brought my dog, Shilo along. And um, yeah, so all together, we really had um, a good time, both in the evenings, watching the sky, but also in the daytime, you know, just checking out Algonquin together. That was really um, quite an interesting experience. So next slide, please. I later found out that um, this star party was really popular years ago. Like I was looking at one of the websites from um, North Bay, and at one time, you know, there were like um, 137 attendees that we used to come. So um, I really hope that next year, uh, more people from Toronto, from Rescue, will attend this star party because it's really uh, interesting and it's really nice to be able to spend time with everyone, um, and look, watching the stars and looking at the stars all all as, together as, as a group. So with this next slide, um, I just want to end this talk and just encourage everyone to come out next year for a star party. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mavis. Uh, really glad to hear you enjoyed your uh, star parties. They're great events uh, to attend and also great to see that the Algonquin Adventure is back on. Uh, right, so that wraps up uh, the speakers for this evening. But before we go to announcements, we should see if there are any questions for Mavis. Um, nope, there are no questions for Mavis, but that was a great talk and made me miss star parties. Okay, great. Thanks again, Mavis. Mm -hmm.